Hi everyone, what's up? Thank you so much for being here. I am so happy that you guys have decided to join me today. Today's video is going to be a review about the new Dose of Colors in collaboration with I Love Sarahi. I've actually never watched her before, but I'm pretty familiar who she is. She's famous, she's friends with Patrick Starr, and you know, the dream team. So. <laughs> When I saw the post on Instagram, I was like, mm, I mean, it's okay. In the collection, there is an eyeshadow palette, like with lipstick, lip glosses, highlighters. I was like, I already have most of the colors, but when I saw, this was totally unplanned. So when I saw the display, I was like, wow, it is beautiful. Like the collection, the whole entire collection is beautiful. And because I'm not really that rich and nobody would sponsor me, I just got the eyeshadow and one liquid lipstick. I actually made this look right over here, which you will see in a bit. So I'm gonna give you guys some swatches first. And then after that, we're gonna try it on our eyes so you guys can see how it works. And then I will give you guys my overall thoughts. So this is what the box packaging looks like. It actually has an embellished kind of like leaves into it, more of like very summery vibe. So when you look at the actual packaging, you see everything in true color and the name of the shades are in the back and you will be getting a decent sized mirror right over here when you open it up. The whole entire packaging is made out of cardboard and you have six standard eyeshadows so i'm just gonna swatch them once i do not have any base in the back of my hand and most of them are really nice and pigmented so the fourth color is actually the one that does not swatch the best so you have one glittery shade which is the black one and the one that is metallic is that teal looking like color so i didn't really expect on how beautiful these two shades are in person so obviously guys there is no transition shade in this palette so i'm just gonna go ahead and get the lightest shade in this palette and directly apply that on my crease so it has a little bit of hue of orange and then after that i'm gonna get this shade right over here it still has that hue of orange but it has a little in my opinion has a little bit of red into it so it's more of like orange brown and red i don't know if i make any sense i wish i do but you guys know get you guys get the picture <laughs> so i'm going to create a halo okay at first i thought that i'm gonna create a halo and then again i decided to do like a smoky eye i know i'm confusing so i'm gonna get this really nice glittery black shade and apply that all over my lid because i think this black is the star of this show it's beautiful i've never seen anything like it the flex of glitter is different from one another it's just so beautiful you have to see it in person and swatch it for yourself so what i'm doing is that i'm packing it up really nicely I'm trying to be careful because I don't want everything to fall out. But the only problem that I have encountered on this one is that no matter how hard or gentle I blend, all of the glitters, they freaking fall off. So it kind of doesn't make any sense to me why there's glitter in here. But I'm just going to get this really nice metallic green shade and apply that under my eyes. So... I just hate the fact that the glitters kind of popped out on my whole entire eye area. So I'm going to get these two shades so that we can use everything in the palette and apply that as my highlighter using the favorite brush that I love from Real Techniques. Just going to do how I normally put my highlighter. And moving on to the liquid lipsticks, I only got Nude Chica because I feel like realistically this is something that I would wear every day. So the liquid lipsticks are very comfortable to the lips. They are comfortable matte. They are very pigmented. It smells like buttercream frosting. And the doe foot applicator, you don't need to double dip it. The products that you will get is already enough for the whole entire lip. So this is the final makeup look that I have created today. Honestly, guys, when I was doing it, I was so upset about it. I thought it's not going to go along together, but I heard nothing but compliments today. I'm not so sure if they're just being nice, but uh, I heard a lot of compliments today that they love the smoky eye look. The black glittery eyeshadow is beautiful. However, it did not stay in my lid. The process, I was like so upset on how I look and now I'm looking at the monitor and everything. 
I feel like this makeup look turned out beautiful so I just needed more time to blend it out so the thing about these eyeshadows is that they are so pigmented that if you made a mistake with a black shadow it could be you know life-threatening <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that it's difficult it could turn into a black eye if you are not careful that's why like earlier I don't even want to go out looking like this I was like that but once you put everything together like the lashes and all that everything comes together I really love the eyeshadows I think that they did not change the formula this is actually my first time buying from Joseph Colors just so because all of the palettes that they have I already have colors with but I actually still want to buy their eyeshadow palettes because the quality is superb. Like, every time I work in the store, I swatch them and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is insane. I was like, this is, wow. Like, I'm so impressed. The eyeshadows, the quality is like on top. So that's all I can say about that. So I think the packaging is, I mean, it's okay. You know, if you know Dose of Colors, usually their packaging is... Uh, plastic with a mirror and it has weight now this one is a cardboard but not that I care of there's no transition shade here which is totally fine because I'm pretty sure when you buy this palette obviously you already have like a gajillion neutral colors that you have to work with with this palette so you can just use your face powder just like what I did to you know put on your brow bone or whatever it depends on your personal preference if you want to set it or not for the liquid lipstick I've tried this last Sunday the I'm gonna put like the video somewhere somewhere here I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoot here because I don't really have you know the talent to edit videos the liquid lipstick is superb I've been drinking coffee right now Ooh, my favorite owl mug <laughs> I've been drinking coffee and It is still here. What I'm trying to say is that it's still on my lips. And my lips is 24-7 dry. And I'm so impressed that it didn't crackle up like crazy. So I'm very happy with my purchase with Dose of Colors. And I'm so glad that I did. It's very rare for me to buy something that I don't, I don't even have a discount on. But I uh, thought you guys might want to see my opinion. So there you have it. The eyeshadows, you're just so pigmented. Just be careful with it. Um, the only thing about the black one is that if you start blending, I would suggest that you blend the edges first before you pack on the black with glitter because they do fall off. Like at this point, the glitters are gone, which is a little sad and upsetting, but whatever. I just still love the way it looks, so... Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you are still not subscribed to the Sassy family, please do. It is absolutely free. I upload almost every day. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!